Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We are welcome to God's presence. Let us pray. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we give you the glory, we give you the praise. We thank you, Father. Thank you for sustaining each one of us. We all went to bed, we all are walking because you are the one that has sustained us. We thank you for it. We thank you for the angels that you have provided to keep charge of our eyes. Father, this morning we are in your presence. We ask that you receive our person as we offer our praises and our prayers unto you this morning. Father, we commit our day into your hands. We ask that you go before us, make every crooked part in our way straight. We ask that by your spirit this morning, you enlighten every form of darkness in our life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And Father, as we go, empower us by your grace to walk and to live according to your word this morning. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. We are welcome to this program this morning. Let us move forward as we worship the Lord together. Amen.
God is awesome. He can move mountains. Keep me in the valley. Hide me from the rain. Come on, our God is awesome. He heals me when I'm broken. Give strength where I've been weak. Forever he'll reign. Come on, say, my God is awesome. He can move mountains. Keep me in the valley. Hide me from the rain. My God is awesome. He heals me when I'm broken. Strength where I've been weak. Forever he'll reign. Come on, if you believe it, lift your voice and say If you know he's awesome, say it. Awesome. Come on and lift your voice. Awesome. 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 My God. My God awesome. Come on and testify. Awesome. Awesome. If you believe it, say it. Awesome. Come on and say it. Awesome. My God. My God. Awesome. Think about it. Savior of the whole world. Giver of, Giver of salvation. By his stripes, By his stripes I'm, I'm here. here. My God is awesome. My God is awesome. Today, I am Today I am forgiven. His grace is why I'm living. Why I'm Somebody ought to praise his holy name. Come on and testify. You know he's awesome. Say it. Awesome. Come on and lift your voice and say it.
Everybody ought to celebrate the awesome God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good. Glory to God. It's a awesome God. Lord, we praise you this morning. Hallelujah. Let's go straight into our general prayers. Pastor Jibri, I believe, is online with us this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Father, we worship you and bless your name. Our general prayer this morning will start by lifting up our voices and giving thanks. So, Father, thank you for always sending us your word of refreshing on this platform, thereby making it a place of green pasture. We are nourished and refreshed. Lift up your voice. I appreciate the King of Kings for sending his word day by day as we're gathered here, speaking to our hearts, making us this, this platform a place of refreshing. Lift up your voice of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, I worship you. I just want to thank you and bless your name. Thank you, O oh Lord, for your word that you've been sending unto us day by day as we get on this platform. Thank you, O oh Lord, for making this platform a place of green pasture where each and every one of us has been refreshed and nourished. We thank you, O oh Lord, for the insight that you've been giving us through your word. We thank you for understanding, O oh Lord. We thank you for revelation. Lord, you said he made me to lie down in green pasture. He leads me beside the still waters. Lord, we appreciate you, King of glory, for sending your word to us day by day, changing our lives. Lord, we thank you for your word. For you said he sent for his word and it healed them and delivered them from all their destructions. Thank you for your word that has brought healing to so many of us. Thank you for your word, O oh Lord, that has brought deliverance in our lives. We just want to worship you. I worship you, King of glory. I magnify you this morning. Thank you, Jesus, for your word. Thank you for making this platform a place of nourishment and refreshment for each and every one of us in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Our next prayer, Father, thank you for making me your beloved child. I know you are a covenant-keeping father, and I rejoice today that you are my father. As I come humbly and boldly before your throne of grace, be merciful unto me and bless me indeed. Lift up your voice in prayer. I appreciate the Lord. Father, I thank you once more. I bless your name. I magnify you. Oh, I give you praise. I give you all the honor. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with psalms. Father, I've come to say thank you for making me your child. Thank you, Lord, because you are a covenant-keeping God. What you say you do, you do. And I appreciate you for that, oh Lord. You said also that in your word, let us come let us, therefore, let us come boldly to the throne of grace, that we might obtain mercy and find grace in our times of need. Lord, we are before you this morning to obtain mercy and find grace in our times of need. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, King of glory. I magnify and I bless your name, O oh Lord. I ask, O oh Lord, that you show me mercy as you, as you have said in your word. Show me mercy, O oh Lord, today in the name of Jesus. Bless me indeed. Bless everything that concerns me, Lord. Am I going out? Am I coming back? Oh, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. I bless your name. I worship you, King of glory. I magnify you. I've come to give you thanks in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Our next prayer. Father, by the power of the Holy Ghost, empower me with grace for a higher level of spiritual consecration, thereby making me fit for your use. And by your sanctification, let your beauty be upon me for effective use in your kingdom. Lift up your voice in prayer this morning. Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm asking for grace, for supplication. I'm asking for empowerment, O oh Lord. I'm asking that you empower me by your spirit, O oh Lord. By the Holy Ghost, empower me, O oh Lord. 
Give me more grace for a higher level of spiritual consecration in the name of Jesus. Lord, let by your spirit prepare me, Lord. Let me be fit for your use in your kingdom in the name of Jesus Christ. By your Holy Ghost, empower me, King of glory. Empower me for a higher level of consecration, O oh Lord. Lord, I ask that your beauty will be upon me, that I'll be effective in your kingdom, O oh Lord. Effective in my service in your kingdom in the name of Jesus. Your word says in the book of Acts 4, verse 33, and with great power I give the apostles witnesses of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. And great grace was upon them all. Lord, I ask for great grace this morning. Grace, O oh Lord, to be effective in my kingdom service. Great grace, O oh Lord, for a higher level of spiritual consecration making me fit, fit for your use in the kingdom, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Our next prayer. Father, today, according to my covenant heritage, I possess the gates of my enemies and decree every of their obstacle on my path be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice of prayer. Lift up your voice of prayer. My God and my Father, today, in the name of Jesus, Oh, Lord, I possess the gates of my enemies, oh, Lord. I possess the gates of my enemy in the name, enemies in the name of Jesus. And I decree for yourself, we shall decree a thing and it shall be established unto us. I decree that every obstacle that has been placed by the enemy in my path, oh, Lord, let such an obstacle be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Genesis 22, verse 17, he said that in blessing, I will bless thee and multiplying, I will multiply thee. And I see it as the stars of the heaven and as the sun, as, as a, the sun which is upon the seashore, and their seed shall possess the gates of their enemies. Lord, according to your word, according to my covenant heritage, Lord, I possess the gates of my enemies in the name of Jesus. I possess the gates of my enemies in the name of Jesus. Every obstacle, every agenda of my enemies, oh Lord, place in my path, oh Lord, of growth, path of enlargement. Today it is destroyed. It is destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Our next prayer. Father, grant me life transforming encounter with your word that brings supernatural transformation, bringing great refreshing in my life and ministry. Lift up your voice in prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm asking this morning that you grant me a life transforming encounter with your word. I ask that you reveal your word to me, O oh Lord. Reveal your word, O oh Let it bring, O oh Lord, supernatural transformation in my life, O oh Lord. Give me insight insight oh lord give me insight oh lord your word says in the book of romans 12 2 and be not conformed by this world but ye be transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that is good and acceptable perfect will of god hallelujah father i pray this day oh lord as i receive your word this morning give me insight give me revelation oh lord let your word bring about a total transformation in my life. Total transformation, O oh Lord, that will bring about spiritual breathing, O oh Lord, that will bring about refreshing, spiritual refreshing in my life in the name of Jesus. Lord, reveal your word. Give me insight. Give me insight. Let me have an encounter today, Lord. Let me not return the same, O oh Lord, this morning. Let me not return the same, O oh Lord. Let me have an encounter with your word. In the name of Jesus Christ, that will bring about a supernatural transformation, O oh Lord, breathing great refreshing, great refreshing, O oh Lord, in my life and in my ministry, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Our next prayer, Father, grant me grace for steadfastness in my kingdom stewardship, that I will be able to serve you with joyfulness and gladness of heart. Lift up your voice once more. My God and my Father, this morning I'm asking you give me grace. Grace to remain steadfast in my kingdom service, O oh Lord. In my kingdom stewardship. Give me grace, O oh Lord, to, to be faithful 
in my service unto you in the name of Jesus. Give me grace in the name of Jesus. Lord, let me serve you with complete joy in my heart, fullness of joy in my heart in the name of Jesus. And gladness, O oh Lord, let me serve you, O oh Lord, in all that I do faithfully. Give me, O oh Lord, the grace to remain faithful, the grace to remain steadfast in my kingdom stewardship in the name of Jesus. And it was told, and it was told King David saying, the Lord has blessed the house of Obedero and all that pertained unto him because of the ark. So David went and brought up the ark of God from the house of Obedero into the city of David with gladness. Lord, as I enter into your presence day by day, Lord, let me, Lord, serve you joyfully. Let me serve you with gladness of heart, O oh Lord. Give me grace to remain steadfast and faithful, Lord, in my service unto thee. Give me the grace, O oh Lord, forward by strength. No man, O oh Lord, but without you, I can do nothing by strength. No man can prevail. Give me the grace, O oh Lord, to, to do, O oh Lord, to serve you faithfully and to remain steadfast in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Our next prayer. Father, by your spirit, stay out my spirit with consuming zeal for kingdom service and commitment to your church. Lift up your voice in prayer. My God, my Father, I pray this morning that by your spirit, stay out my own spirit, O oh Lord. Stay out my spirit, O oh Lord. Let me be consumed, O oh Lord. Let your spirit consume mine, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus with zeal for kingdom service. Let the zeal of the Lord, zeal of the Lord consume my heart, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, let me remain steadfast, Lord. Let me remain commitment, O Lord, to my service unto you and to your church in the name of Jesus Christ. And the Lord said of the spirit of Zerubbabel, the son of Shechel, the governor of Judah, and the spirit of Joshua, the son of Joshua, the high priest, and the spirit of all the remnant of the people, and they came and did the work in the house of the Lord, of, the Lord of hosts. Their God, Lord, I ask this morning, as that spirit came upon Zerubbabel, let your spirit come upon me. Give me grace. Let us tell my spirit, O oh Lord, let it be, remain steadfast, O oh Lord. Let, it, let your zeal consume my heart. Let it consume my heart, Lord. In my kingdom service, oh, let me remain faithful and steadfast, oh Lord, to your church, oh Lord. My commitment unto you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Finally, this morning, Father, renew me, renew in me today a heart of your kingdom, a heart after your kingdom in all and all its interests in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your voice as you pray this morning. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you give me a renewed heart this morning. Renew my heart this morning. Renew my commitment, O oh Lord, this morning, in the name of Jesus. A heart, give me a heart for your kingdom, Lord. A heart after the interest of your kingdom, in the name of Jesus. Take away a heart of disobedience from me, a heart of stone from me, O oh Lord, and put in me, O oh Lord, a new spirit, O oh Lord, a new spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. And you said, I will give them one heart and I'll put a new spirit within you and I'll take away the stony heart out of their flesh and I'll give them a heart of flesh. Give me a heart, O oh Lord, of complete obedience, O oh Lord, a heart, O oh Lord, that is after the, the interest of the kingdom in the name of Jesus Christ. Renew me, O oh Lord, today. Renew my heart. Renew the way I think, O oh Lord, this day. In the name of Jesus Christ, let my heart be for your kingdom. Let my heart beat for your kingdom, O oh Lord. Let the interest of your kingdom be my passion, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I worship you and I bless your name. Thank you this morning for answering the prayers. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We're going to be reading from the scriptures today. I'll be reading from Joshua chapter 24, verses 1 to 14. 
Joshua 24, verses 1 to 14. Sister Kendi will read for us. Sister Kendi, over to you, please. Good morning, everybody. I'm reading Joshua 24, verses 1 to 14. And I start. Um, and Joshua gathered all the tribes of Israel to Shechem and called them and called on the elders of Israel and for their and for their heads and for their judges and for all their officers. And they presented themselves to God. And Joshua said unto all the people, Thus says the Lord of Israel. Your fathers dwelled on the other side of the flood in old days, in old time. Even Teha, the father of Abraham, and the father of Nature, and they served all the gods. And I took your father Abraham from the other side of the flood and led him throughout all the lands of Canaan and multiplied his seed and gave him Isaac. Uh, verse four, and I gave unto I take up an Esau, and I gave unto the Mount Sire and to possess it. But Jacob and his children went down to Egypt. I sent Moses also, and uh, also, and Aaron. I plow, I plow, I plowed Egypt according to which I did amongst them, and afterwards I brought you out. Verses six, and I brought your father out of Egypt and ye come onto the sea and the Egyptians pursued, pursued after your father and chariot, sorry, with chariot and horses, horsemen onto the Red Sea. And when they cried unto the Lord, he put darkness between you and the Egyptians and brought the sea upon them and covered them and your eyes have seen what I have done in Egypt. And yeah, and ye dwell, dwell it in the wilderness a long season, chapter eight. And I brought you into the land of Amorites, which dwell on the other side of Jordan. And they fought with you. And I gave them into your hands that ye might possess their land and I destroyed them from before you. Then Balak, the son of Zippor, king of Moab, arose and warred against Israel and sent and, sent and called Balaam, the son of Bohar, to curse you, chapter 10. But I would not hearken unto Balaam. Therefore, he blessed you still. So I deliver you out of his hand. And ye went over Jordan and came unto Jericho and to the land, to the men of Jericho fought against you. The Amorites, the Perizzites and the Canaanites and the Hittites and the, and the Jagasites, the Havitites and the, and the Jebusites and I deliver them onto your hands. And I sent the hornets before you, which drave them out before you, even the two kings of Amorite, but with thy sword, no, sorry, sorry, but not with thy sword, no, with thy bow. Chapter 13, and I have given you a, a land for which ye did not labor, and city which ye did not build, and the, and ye dwell in them, and for the vineyard and the olive yards which ye planted not, do ye eat. Chapter 14. Now therefore the Lord, the, now therefore fear the Lord and serve him in sincerity and in truth, and put away the gods which your fathers served on the other side of the flood and in Egypt, and serve ye the Lord. May the Lord hear our prayers. Amen. I purposely chose that um, 
I'll say this morning, and don't mind all those uh, names. Let's then just run them through the way you know them. They are not in our tongue. Hallelujah. For a reason. There are historical facts there. Because that's what you see most of the time in scripture when God wants to drive, in, drive on a point to his people. He took them through a journey and brought them to his heart, saying to every one of them, look, you are not just existing. It's not just you. It has been before you. You came to this point, look at where you have been coming from. Before you sit down in one corner and start thinking just about yourself. Me, me, or how they put it, me, myself, and I. No, it's not just about you. It has been in existence way before you. Look at where you have been coming from. See how you got to this point. Therefore, serve ye the Lord. And to drive it further home in, in, in Deuteronomy 10, verse uh, 2, he said, What does the Lord require of you, O Israel? What is it? What is it that he really wants from you? Verse 12. What does the Lord require of you, O Israel? Let's read it. Deuteronomy 10, 12. And now, Israel, what does the Lord require of thee? It's about to fear the Lord thy God. To walk in his ways. To love him. And to serve him with all thy heart and with all thy soul. What does it require of you? Joshua, if you read further down, Joshua told them, choose you this day whom you will serve. Because God is a jealous God. The key message there is you exist to serve him. It's not just starting with you. It's not just starting with me. It's not really about me. It's not about you. It's about his program, his purpose, his plan. There's a history there. See how we got to this point. Even if you got saved this morning, it's still the same history that you have as Abraham had. As Moses heard, as Peter, as James, as Paul, and all that have gone before you, you are just being brought into that history. It's not just you. So when you sit down in your home or at home, at work, or you are there on the street, whatever, and all you are thinking, all that engulfs you is me. See what's happening to me. See where I am now. See what I've made. See what I've become. All that. You're missing the point because it's not just about you. It didn't begin with you. It's not going to end with you. So you are you're going you, you, you need to begin to see, excuse me. I belong, I have an history. And what is the history? The history is that God came down to earth and picked a people to himself to serve him, to love him, to fear him, to walk in his ways, and to serve him with all their heart. Jacob is the Lord of Israel is his portion. Jacob is the Lord of his inheritance. He chose a people to himself. And we are that people, not those people, that people. You become part of a body. 
So the body is one, but many members. So you are not just, it's just like my finger thinking all of itself, if it's possible, and about itself. What's going to become of it? Where is it going? And all that. It, it doesn't work that way. It's part of a body. Where the body goes, it goes. What the body does, it should do, if I put it that way. He said, you, yes, you remember in particular, I'm, I'm not uh, cutting you or saying you don't exist, but you exist within the body. That's why I gave them that history. You are not like the other person who does not belong to this body. By one spirit, have we been baptized into his body. So you belong to a body. And like we say, the church is a body on a mission. The church is a body on a journey. It's like I'm going somewhere and my finger says it's not going. I don't believe in that. What, what's he going to do? It's, you are part of that body. And that body exists to serve them. Yes, you are a member in particular, like the scripture says. It also means your peace is defined or determined by your harmony with the body and its mission and the way it's going which is to serve the Lord. He said, be wise now, therefore, O ye kings. Be instructed, O ye judges of the earth. If it's going to, I'm, I'm, I'm talking of Psalm 2 now. If it's going to go well with you, he said, be wise. Check it. Verse 11 says, serve the Lord with fear and rejoicing and trembling. Serve the Lord with gladness, come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord is God, and it is he that has made us, not we ourselves. So you know you don't exist for yourself. So when all that you keep going about is me, myself, and I, me, myself, and I, me, myself, and I, you are out of the way. Your peace is in harmony with the body with his mission, his purpose. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him with rejoicing. Know ye that the Lord is God. It is he that made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people. The sheep of his pasture. So you belong to a flock. We didn't make, you didn't make yourself. I didn't make myself. Know ye that the Lord is God, that is he that made us, not we ourselves. Serve the Lord, because for that purpose you exist. Serve the Lord, because for that reason you have been baptized into his body. Serve the Lord, because your peace is in the harmony, in your harmony with his body, which is a body on a mission, which is a body that exists to serve him and worship him and live for him. For I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who died for me. I'm just living for him. And like I said, let no day go or pass you by without you comfortably known this I have contributed to the peace and progress of his kingdom today because for that purpose I exist there was a lady called Esther I closed with that this morning from nowhere she became a queen in a country or in a kingdom where she herself was a slave in captivity. But somehow she became the queen. 
And it's even so strange that there was a queen that did not die. It's not as if the former queen died. They did. No, it was, she was removed. And it's possible for Esther to just sit down in her palace and say, look at how far I have come. <laughs> and maybe she's been celebrating that. Oh, see what I've accomplished. See what I've made. And then a, a, a time came, the kingdom needed her. And she could possibly say, see, I don't want anybody to disturb me. I got here by myself. I'm not interested in putting my life in jeopardy for anybody. This is just about me. But you see, it's not just about, it was not about her at all. Even getting to that place was because she was part of that body. She was part of that body. It was in the plan for the body to position her there for when the time comes. So you see now, see what I've made, see how much, in fact, to make it religious, see how much God has blessed me. Good. And when Mordecai has sent to her, you need to do something for your kingdom. The first thing was, no, I don't want to put my life in jeopardy. It's not your life. You died with him, remember, on the cross. If you, if you say that didn't happen, then every other thing you are claiming today also did not happen. It's not happening. Because it's your dying with him that gives you this new life of God on the cross. That gives us the life you have today. So, but when the message goes, Father Mordecai made a statement. He said, who knows whether you have come to the kingdom for such a thing as this? That is to say, look, you think you just became queen for yourself? To enjoy the pleasures of the palace and the kingdom? No. You are positioned where you are for a reason. For his kingdom's sake. It's time to stand up and be counted. And she got the message. And see what great thing God did. Even she be, though she, was, she still remained as queen, but she now became more empowered and more honorable than before. Same for you today. You are part of a body. The life you now have is for his kingdom. Use it that way. Look for where you fit in and serve him. In every way and by every means. What he has positioned in your hands, there is history behind it it's for the use of his kingdom. Moving forward his kingdom. Where he has placed you. It's for the use of his kingdom. In moving forward his kingdom. So stop thinking it's just about me, myself and I. It's about him. Paul said, I'm one born in due season. Who is brought in at this time to play your part. May the Lord help us. Glory to God. Now we'll go straight into our personal moment. Over to you again before the Lord your God and express your heart of gratitude to Him and take strength to be devoted to His service again. Whatever it is that you want is just you and the way you want to turn it around for Him, before Him, make it known to Him this morning and receive strength. May the Lord of heaven receive your person again this morning and hear you in Jesus' name.
Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for another day. Blessed be your name. Glory to your name. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, serve the Lord with gladness. He said, because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and gladness of heart, therefore thou shalt serve thy enemies. You will not serve your enemies. Serve the Lord with gladness. Be excited in him. Be joyful in him. He says, let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. The high praises of God in their lips and a two-edged sword in their hearts. He said, to execute judgment upon the eating and punishment upon the people. This honor have all the saints. Be excited in your God and serve him. Look for every opportunity to be a plus to his kingdom and the interest thereof. Be excited in it. Because for this purpose, you exist. And as long as you keep doing it, he himself becomes committed to your freedom. He becomes committed to you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We bless your name this morning. May this day bring you joy and gladness. May the rest of God answer for you today. He said, Hereby have we known that thou hast given him rest because thou hast not allowed his enemies to prevail over him. May the rest of God be your portion today in the name of Jesus. And the Lord is God was with him with us wherever he went. And the Lord is God made all that he puts his hand to do to prosper. With that, that you lay your hands to do to they prosper for you in the name of Jesus. Paul writing in, in, uh, in the New Testament, he said, knowing that of him you shall receive the reward of in inheritance for you, knowing that of the Lord you shall receive the reward of the inheritance for ye serve the Lord Christ. That is to say, your inheritance, the inheritance that you receive is also tied to your service of him. So keep enjoying your service of him. And your inheritance in Christ keeps flowing your way. In the name of Jesus. May that which belongs to you, no man take. He said, let no man take your blessing. May that which the Lord himself purchased for you, received for you, no man take of you. In the name of Jesus. Go in peace this morning. The favor of the God of heaven go with you. The light of his countenance shine on your ways. His angels keep you. That no evil nor hurt come your way. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you this morning. What a day before us again. That you have given us. Help us to walk joyfully, faithfully in it all through today. Serving you. And drawing from you. In the name of Jesus. Your day is blessed today. Your path is secured and blessed. The strength of the Lord is giving you. The wisdom of the Lord is released for you. And the peace of the Lord secures you today. In the name of Jesus. Remember that this platform will still be on tomorrow. For it runs Monday through Friday. We'll be back here tomorrow. Same time, 5 a.m. Mountain Time. Wherever you are, get connected and get people to connect with you also. It's part of our kingdom service. And as we do, Jehovah, the man of war, will fight for you. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. Your day is blessed. The peace of the Lord goes with you today. No evil comes your way. No hurt comes your way or any of yours. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for today. And we bless your name. In Jesus' name. Let's share the goodness together. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. 
and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. God bless you. The peace of the Lord be with you. Jesus is Lord.